Hi everyone, it's Dr. Karuna. And I wanted to talk to you today about listening closer. We're always used to listening to others and taking advice from others. And how often do we actually listen to ourselves? to what our needs are, what our desires are, what our basic joys are. I remember once a friend texted me a few years ago and reflected back to me something that was really a big transition moment in my life. And she said, you know, Karuna, we're all listening to you and you're not listening to yourself. And it was one of those startling moments where I had to pause for five minutes and I realized, wow, I'm really unhappy in this given situation and I'm reaching for help and for affirmation. But if I pause, it was so clear to me that I needed to make a leap. And I think why we don't listen to ourselves and we ask for outer advice, which of course it is important to do that and we need support, but ultimately, we are the ones that make the decision. So I think why we do that in especially more difficult situations is that transitions aren't easy. Sometimes the decisions that you have to make when you actually listen closely to what your inner silent voice is telling you, your whole life will become upside down. It will become chaotic, but you will be happier at the end because you're coming from your center. Usually that voice we need to listen to is guiding us back onto the path, especially if we've gone willy-nilly, okay? I also thought about the importance of this topic because recently I found myself in a similar situation and I was reflecting again on how much I kept bringing up a certain situation um, to few close people and I wasn't listening to myself because the situation did not make sense. So that's the second thing I'm going to bring up. Why we don't listen to ourselves sometimes is because the entire circumstance is illogical and we cannot have a one, two, three step program. So it's hard to jump. But if we review, and I think text, journal writing, all of this is very good. If we go back and review what we are saying, what makes us unhappy and what makes us ecstatically joyful, we start seeing patterns. And it doesn't matter what the external circumstance is reflecting back to you about your inner voice. If you are unhappy with the situation, and it does not make sense, and you just cannot handle the certain relationship that you're in because of X, Y, and Z limitations the person's putting on you, even if there's a lot of outer adoration, but something is eating at you and it's eating at you and you're saying, look, it's bothering me, it's bothering me, it's bothering me. Really that your voice is saying, knock, knock, you're being bothered, you're being eaten, you're not okay with this, you're not okay with this, you're not okay with that, but you, think, wow, but I have a house and I'm happy with getting flowers. And you know, the person does do these X, Y, Z things. I mean, look at my list, but inside your voice is saying, you're not okay. You're not okay. You're not okay. That voice, that you're not okay voice is so key in health. It is key to listen to. So, you know, have your support on the outside and encourage your close friends, you know, especially if they're conscious to reflect back to you, you know, I'm happy to help you. But what I'm hearing from you is that you're not happy with this. So it does not matter what I tell you or what the public says to you about this. You are tolerating. You are not able to accept the situation because you're not happy with that. It's hurting you if that's a situation. It's eating at you. We can use so many different terms. It's giving you symptoms. It's making you sick. How many times have I said that to a patient? It is making you sick, your situation. So 
this is a very important uh, topic to me, and I'm focusing more on listening to the it's not okay voice, but there is a listen closer voice that's as essential to what brings you joy and pleasure, but I'll save that for a separate video. Right now, just start getting in touch with the concept that it is key to listen closer and then act accordingly. One small step, everything changes. That voice is asking for attention. It doesn't need to make sense, okay? You can let me know in the comments below how this talk has affected you, how you have noticed you've been ignoring that voice, how you reach for support because you maybe don't want to hear what that voice says. It's all for open game. I would love to hear from you, okay? Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.